Epilepsy is a neurological condition in which the electronic activity in your brain short circuits, leading to you having a seizure. Epilepsy can begin at any age and can be caused by any number of things, including brain damage, head injury, strokes, infections, tumours, and some rare types of the condition can even be inherited. But more often than not, the cause is simply unknown. There are over 43 different types of epilepsy. Seizures are split into two main categories, generalised and focal. Generalised seizures are when the epilepsy affects the whole brain. There are five main types of generalised seizure. Tonic-clonic seizures are the most common and probably the most well known. They happen in two stages. The tonic stage is when your body stiffens, you lose consciousness and fall to the ground. The clonic stage is when you begin to shake and jerk. You may also bite your tongue or lose control of your bladder or bowels. Tonic seizures are the same as the first part of a tonic-clonic attack. They often happen at night, so it can be very difficult to diagnose. Myoclonic seizures are small twitches or jerks which affect some or all of the body. They are usually too short to affect your consciousness. Atonic seizures are also known as drop attacks and are when you lose muscle tone and fall heavily to the ground. You can usually get up straight away. Absent seizures are common in children and teenagers. In a typical absent seizure, you simply lose consciousness for a few seconds and may appear to be daydreaming. Atypical absent seizures are similar, but not the same. They last longer, but involve less loss of consciousness. You may be able to continue moving around. Focal seizures only affect part of the brain, and symptoms vary depending on which area is affected. There are four main sections, the temporal lobe, the focal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe. Focal seizures are often underestimated and considered to be not as bad as generalised seizures. However, this is not the case, as they often lead into generalised seizures, and even if they don't, can be very dangerous within themselves. If you see someone having a focal seizure, guide them away from any danger, stay with them until they are fully recovered, and make sure to be reassuring and calm. If you see someone having a generalised seizure, clear the area around them so that they can't hurt themselves, put something soft under their head to protect it, put them in the recovery position once the seizure has ended, and again, make sure to stay with them until they have recovered. Only call an ambulance if, one, you know it is the person's first seizure, two, they have injured themselves during it, or three, the seizure lasts for more than five minutes, or the person has more than one seizure without regaining consciousness in between, because this is when it becomes dangerous. Status epilepticus is when a seizure lasts for more than 30 minutes, or the person has several seizures without regaining consciousness in between. If undealt with, it can become fatal. There is also SUDEP, or Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. This is when a person with epilepsy dies suddenly with no obvious cause or explanation. There is not a lot yet known about SUDEP or what causes it. Most people control their seizures using anti-epileptic drugs or AEDs. However, this doesn't always work, so there are other treatments you can try, including the ketogenic diet, deep brain stimulation, trigeminal nerve stimulation, vagus nerve stimulation, and even brain surgery. Now, before I move on, I just want to clear up a few myths. Number one, you cannot swallow your tongue whilst having a seizure. You can bite it, but you cannot swallow it. Number two, you can't catch epilepsy. You can inherit it, as I've already said, but the fact is, it is a neurological condition, not an infectious disease. It's not a bacteria, it's not a virus, it's not even a fungus. There is no way that if someone sneezes on you, you're going to catch it. So please, just do not discriminate or leave out people because you were scared that you're going to catch their freaky condition. It's extremely mean and to be honest extremely idiotic as well. And number three is that not everybody has seizures when they see flashing lights. Like I have lost count of the amount of times that I've been out with friends and they've been like oh my god you're gonna have a seizure. I'm like seriously do you think I would be coming to a club or this concert if it was gonna make me have a seizure? I'm not, I'm not stupid. In fact, only 3 in every 100 people actually suffer from photosensitive epilepsy, which is when seizures are triggered by patterns such as stripes, checks, or flickering and flashing lights. On a related note, a lot of people seem to think that just because you have epilepsy, you miss out on all the fun stuff. But so long as you're careful, that doesn't have to be the case. As long as you remember to take your meds, get enough food and sleep, and are always with someone who knows about your condition and knows what to do if you have a seizure, the world is your oyster and there's pretty much nothing you can do. Admittedly, there is a lot of extra stuff to think about, especially when travelling abroad, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. You've just got to take a slightly longer route and do a bit more preparation. Um, wearing a medical alert or some other um, 
medic called Jewelry can make it a lot safer for you when you're out and about on your own. And uh, my neurologist stupidly told me just before I moved to university that alcohol actually helps to prevent seizures. So as long as you don't get completely off your head, don't avoid that. It's, it's a good thing. Alcohol is, is very, very good. But uh, you will get drunk a lot quicker than your mates because of your AEDs. So um, just remember that and pace yourself. Uh, I know it's, it's, it's difficult, but just pace yourself and it will, it will all be cool. Now I've been jabbering on for a while now and you're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this. You see, I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was three years old. I was probably born with it and will probably die with it. And as a kid it was okay, but then I started secondary school and I was bullied pretty much non-stop for six years until at the end of my first year of sixth form, I was kicked out because my seizures increased, began affecting my work and the school just couldn't be bothered to deal with it. They simply didn't want to pay for the extra care that I needed. Looking back in hindsight, I believe that the bullying I received from the day I arrived to the day I left, along with the discrimination that I was given, are simply down to one thing. Ignorance. And there is only one way to fight ignorance. And that's with knowledge and facts. The fact is, 87 people are diagnosed with epilepsy each day in the UK alone. It is three times more common than multiple sclerosis, and over three times more common than both Parkinson's disease and cerebral palsy. There are 1,000 epilepsy-related deaths each year, about 600 of which are attributed to SUDEP. As a condition, it claims more lives in England and Wales than AIDS and cot death combined. Now for me, that's quite hard to say, as I find it genuinely shocking how many people suffer every single day. And this is now probably going to turn into a bit of a rant, and that's just because I am so passionate about what I'm saying to you. The fact is, I don't want children to have to go through what I went through. I don't want them to be bullied and discriminated simply because people don't understand what they go through on a daily basis. Now, there are some things that, unless you have epilepsy, you can't understand. But there are not some things that you can. The things that I've just told you. And you can, you can help people. Rather than laughing and, and filming them when they have seizures, you can help them by putting them in the recovery position and protecting them. This week is National Epilepsy Week. That's why I'm making this video now. I want to start fighting ignorance, but I can't do it alone. I need your help. So please share this video. Put it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Tumblr. Email it to your friends. Just spread it around because as many people need to see it as possible. If just one person learns something from this video and the next time they see someone having a seizure decides to help them rather than film it and giggle at them, then we've succeeded. If just one person stops asking their friends stupid questions and stops isolating them, then we've succeeded. You can't fight it all at once, but you can fight it bit by bit. And the more people that see this, the more people will be helped. So, thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hello and welcome to my special edition end screen. As you can see, I've made all the stars purple because that is the official colour of epilepsy. But I recently realised I don't own any purple clothes at all, which is kind of weird, I guess. I have uh, put links to the three main epilepsy charities in the description below. So go check them out. And uh, if you want to make a donation to any of them, I'm sure it'll be extremely appreciated. You can buy merchandise or just send a couple of quids directly to them. And um, click there for my previous blog and up there-ish for my, my written blog. Thank you for watching this. It has been extremely exhausting to film because uh, my memory is shit due to the drugs that I am on and have been for the last 16 years. And this is what I'm saying, you know, epilepsy isn't just seizures, it affects everything about you. So yeah, I'm gonna go and probably sleep. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Goodbye. Switch off.